Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman with TV Insider, and I'm here with Mike Manning, who just started playing Charlie on Days of Our Lives. How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. I was so glad to see you on the show. I know you're not necessarily new to the soap world because you also appeared on The Bay. Mm -hmm. um, but how, how has Days audience received you? Because I know you're getting a lot of buzz on social media and people talking to you and stuff. What are you hearing? Yes, I, I, I've been lucky enough to do The Bay. You know, that's how I got an Emmy uh, this year. And, and I was really, I'm really grateful for The Bay. Uh, Days of Our Lives is, is really the first uh, daytime pure soap opera that I've done and so I've never uh, experienced soap fans before and it's been great it's been I, I like to go on Twitter now I make it part of my daily ritual I go on Twitter and I'm like oh what's the buzz because they release the spoilers and and I'm like what are people talking about and I, I recently discovered that I have a squish name <laughs> Claire so Charlie and Claire so now they're chair like C-H-A-I-R-E and I've never had a squish name before so it's, I'm wearing it like a badge of honor but uh, no, it's great. It's I feel like in the soap world, it's almost like everybody's huddled around the same TV gossiping together. Like, oh, this is, I think this happens. I think this can happen. And there's such a community. And I've never, I never realized that before because I've never been on a show like this. So yeah, the the other shipper name I keep seeing is Chander because you've had some scenes with yep. Paul Telfer's yeah, character. Yeah, I just saw Chander. Yeah, <laughs> Chander too. Yeah, so I have a squish name with with Xander, Charlie Xander too. I love it. I love it. So tell me about Charlie a little bit, because so far, we, he seems like a good guy. He's definitely gotten in the mix of things pretty quick. But what do you know about this guy and where he came from? Yeah, so I mean, obviously, I don't even know everything. I think the producers <laughs> keep so much of it under wraps. But um, what I have decided for Charlie and how I've been playing Charlie is, uh, is that he, he is new to Salem. He's a new intern. And he really is earnest. This job is one of the first things he, that he's had just for himself that he's gotten on his own. And so this internship is serious for him. And he really is trying to navigate this sort of feud between Xander and Philip uh, the best way he knows how. And I, I believe that, that Charlie came to Salem maybe for a new beginning, maybe, you know, to just to, to see what, what Titan had to offer and, and to sort of find his place here. And he bumps into Claire. And, and I will say, <laughs> I, uh, I've never had a job where the first week of work I've been spilled on twice. <laughs> and, and so the first, it was like the first and second episodes, I think he was spilled on uh, by Xander with the punch and then by Claire with walking and, and tripping over him. Um, but he, yeah, Charlie randomly meets Claire uh, with the smoothie accident and he genuinely is falling in love with her. And, and I'm excited to see how far that storyline goes um, and how you know, far we're able to take it. But I think, um, I think it's reciprocated. I think Claire feels the same way for Charlie because for so long, Claire was sort of living in the shadows of Sierra. And she didn't, you know, it was always like she, she was like getting the, the seconds, you know, she was always second best. And yeah. I feel like with Charlie, he's the new guy. We don't know much about him, but he meets Claire and I feel like this is one of the first guys in a while that Claire feels likes her for her and not for who she is or who she's around or the family or anything like that. Okay. And the episodes I'm watching now, Theo has just come back and I'm I'm sensing there could be a love triangle maybe forming here. Is there anything to that? I hope not. No just kidding. <laughughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I do not I d I don't I can't say but I uh I mean, Charlie's going to fight for what he wants. I'll say that. Okay, I like that. How has it been working with the cast? Because a lot of them has, have been there for decades, um, and mm -hmm. they've been in these roles a while. How is it to come, come on set and kind of mix with a lot of them on camera? Well, luckily, because uh, every time you start a new show, it's like you're the new kid in school. And so, and especially after a pandemic of everything being shut down, I, I didn't want to go to set and, and not know anybody. So luckily, because of the Bay, I knew Brandon Beamer and I knew Mary Beth Evans. So, right. so and, and I asked them both about the show and, and they were like, you know, just be ready. It's, it's really great. Everybody's a great team. Everybody's very welcoming. We're all a family here, but we also move very fast. So you got to be on your A game every day. Don't slack off. And it's, it's exactly that. It's everybody has been extremely welcoming to me, even like Deidre and Drake who have been on for, for decades have both been very, very nice. Drake is, I love working with Drake cause he's kind of a goofball. We'll be in a really serious scene and then the camera, they'll yell cut and he'll like make a joke. 
and everybody's like cracking up, like trying not to laugh, and the produ- and like like they they all action again, and then you're like trying not to laugh because you're in a serious scene where somebody's about to cry and like, <laughs> breaks it, and they're making jokes, but but it, it it truly is, it truly is like one big family, and I feel like because they've been doing it for so long, they really care about each other, and and um and I come from a theater background. I did I started in in live theater, and to me that's the soaps at least this soap is the closest thing to a TV version of live theater because you rehearse, especially now after COVID, you have limited rehearsal, limited inter- interaction in person with everybody. So you're essentially going on set and taking your mask off and doing it for the first time for cameras. And it's a trust exercise. You have to trust that you understand the character and that you, you've done the work and also that your scene partner is going to give you what you need to make everything believable and to make everything flow. And so far it's been, it's been great. It, it was scary in the beginning, but I feel like I, I found my flow and, and uh, it's, it's fantastic. I definitely look forward to going to work every day. Yeah. Well, I know being a long time viewer, you fit right in. So I cannot wait to see what is next for Charlie and I'll keep my fingers crossed that things don't go awry with Claire. Cause I'm rooting for them. Thank you. Um, you guys, Days of Our Lives airs every weekday on NBC. Check your local listings for time. And Mike, thanks so much for your time today. Oh, thank you for having me, man. This of course. Great. Thank you. Thank you.